We are back playing The Sims today. <laughs> look at the look at the shack from the map. <laughs> so my goal for today's episode is to hopefully get our first husband. Last time we were picking between Kyle and Ignacio and I've thought about it a little bit and I think we should go after Ignacio. He's old. I don't know how much time he has left on this earth. We got to lock him down fast before it's too late. Why is Kyle just standing outside in the rain? Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. There's something that's also been on my mind. I think we have to make a quick trip. Now, you know how they say that serial killers, they're known to go back to the scene of the crime after they've committed a murder? Well, that's how I'm feeling right now. After I committed arson at the Michelsons, I really, I need to go back, you guys. I, I can't stop thinking about it. Did they get a new kitchen? What's going on? Hello. What's that? Wait, hold on. Leave me alone. Oh my God, their kitchen. <laughs> their kitchen's been replaced. Okay, renovations. What about the floor though? You guys are gonna get all new counters, stove top, and you're not gonna clean the floor. And you're not even gonna clean up my half cooked meal either. Where is everyone? Okay, we've got the mom over here. They're still missing their chair though. You guys, we should definitely take the other one. How do we get Celeste out of the living room so we can steal the other chair? Oh, we could ask to be introduced to the baby and then maybe she'll go upstairs to introduce me. And then I can run downstairs and steal the chair. And gravy. Grinnea. Oh, yes. Okay, let's go meet her. <laughs> let's go meet the baby. What? No, don't tell me she's bringing her down to me. Here, maybe if I run up here, she'll show me upstairs. Okay, here we go. No, no, no. We're down. Oh, uh, we're down where we started. <gasps> Ignacio's calling me. What? What? Hey Jen, I think May Prescott is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? No way is he doing this to me. No way. We literally just in the last episode. Also, I decided that we we're gonna marry him first. So, oh my God, this is really messed up. I don't think she's a good fit for you. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys, we gotta get over there fast. We have to get over there fast. I need to steal this chair first though. So, oh, I have an idea. Let's add to a group. Let's get all of them in a group. And all of us, let's go up here. Go here together. Come on, you guys. Oh my God, the fucking baby. I put the baby down. Basically, you can't steal anything unless there's no one in the room, including children. I don't know why, like, you would assume that if I stole in front of this baby, she would have no idea what's going on, but apparently she does. So I have to wait for, oh. <gasps> Ignacio's here. Hello? What is he doing here? And he's, he just walked right in the front door and he's walking right up the stairs. Also, Oh my God, so much is happening at one time. My Sim on her own just tried to steal this crib and she got caught. So <laughs> she literally just tried to steal this. I didn't realize I could steal this yet. This is a, this is a good steal. I will be coming back for this, but damn it. He caught me. Oh shit. Why is Ignacio here? What is he doing? Two good charms. <gasps> no way. No way. It's happening. Ignacio is so utterly smitten with Jen McAllister that he is proposing marriage. Oh my God, he literally came here to marry me. He's obsessed with me. Okay, I need to analyze this a bit because he literally just called me and asked me if he should go out on a date with someone else. Do you guys think he was like manipulating me a little bit? 
trying to see what I would say. I said no, and then he just ran right over here and proposed. He knew I was the one. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes. Way too toxic, says the chat. Well, everyone we marry, we have to kill. So, I'm okay with that. <gasps> wow, this is so romantic, you guys. We just got engaged to in this children's bedroom right after I tried to steal the crib. I couldn't have asked for a better proposal, to be quite honest. Oh my God, I love you, Ignacio. Let me embrace you. Let me brighten your day too. And let me give you a little kiss on the lips. This is so exciting. I think we need to have a celebratory, a celebratory woohoo because we just got engaged. I know this isn't our house, but guys, I mean, we just got engaged. Let's give them a little privacy, you guys, because um, this is a very intimate moment, <laughs> especially after just getting engaged. I mean, I, I would love to watch, but I think we should give them a little privacy. We'll just listen. Oh, shit. it's still happening. I thought they were done. It's lasting a long time. Wow, that was amazing. I just know it was. And no one yelled at us. Where even are they? They're just down, they're just down here on the couch. Wait, what's this? Their baby's gone crazy in the books. Oh, I'm, I'm making myself right at home and getting in the shower. Wait, hold on. Why do I stink so badly after that? I stink bad. Well, it looks like I'm just part of the family here at the Michelson's house. I mean, I can, I can get it on in their bed. I can take a bath in their, their bathtub. I'm gonna go ahead and cook myself a meal. Let's make meatball tamale bites. That sounds delectable. Wow, they really don't care. It's like I live here. Wait, I think I need to put something in the oven for it to catch on fire. <laughs> I think it needs to go in the oven. Okay. <laughs> let's bake, let's bake some breadsticks. <laughs> so the chat said, stay focused, girl. Like I'm supposed to be getting married and, <laughs> and killing everyone and I'm trying to start a fire in the kitchen again. bad at baking. This could be bad. <laughs> Why did I just put... Wait. Why did I just put the old dirty... Okay. Um, anyway. light or what i'm gonna i'm gonna let her cook i'm gonna let her cook Aww. me and ignacio over here are getting pretty romantic all right let me resume wait oh she finished my breadsticks what the hell leave those in there <laughs> i was supposed to start a fire all right well let me try resuming my meatball tamale bites she said, we can't afford another new oven, so I'm gonna take these out. 
Oh, now she's mad. Oh, okay, fine, fine. You know what? I'm gonna take these, though. Alright, let's go home. Wait, wait, wait! I want these breadsticks, too. Oh, only two hours until I can steal again. So after I pack all these uh, breadsticks into sack lunches, I will definitely be swiping something before I go. Okay, I can finally steal again, you guys. Let's see, we could take the chair, but everyone's downstairs, so I'm a little bit worried about that. It could definitely fail, so... I'm taking the crib. There's like nothing left in the room. Okay, let, let's leave. These are spoiled foods that I just put on the side of the street because I don't have a trash can yet. But I might be able to afford one, especially now that I just stole a crib, you guys. This is gonna be big money here. 150, that's it? Man, I don't know why I was expecting this to sell for like $300, $400. I guess we'll have to do a little bit more stealing before we can buy some more stuff first. I know it smell crazy in there. I mean, How good. it does for sure. Okay, so we are officially engaged. I think it's about time that we plan our wedding. And I kind of think we have to do it fast because I mean, Ignacio's an elder. Again, I just really don't know how much time he has left. So I think when we wake up tomorrow morning, we should head on over to his house and start planning the wedding. You having art on the wall before you have a sink or a trash can? Well, we stole this, so. Why does he keep drinking these energy drinks? Do you guys notice that? I think Kyle might be addicted to energy drinks. Is he just gonna stand there all night and watch me sleep? Girl, just elope, easy dub. Uh, okay, so, oh. he's going again. I know we're doing my own version of the Black Widow challenge, but in the traditional challenge, you are supposed to have a real wedding for each marriage. So I think it would be fun to do that. Like, I think we should have a real wedding for every marriage. It'll make it feel like more, more legit, you know? Okay, let's wake up and get our day started. Damn, I, it smells like ass in here. Look at this. We gotta get out of here and fast. Oh, what? Am I flirting with Kyle? Yabasani. <laughs> Fumu. Oh. Oh, you need money for a wedding? Stop. A thousand dollars? Oh my god. All right, we gotta get stealing. Since we need to make a thousand dollars fast, we should go to the museum. Okay, hopefully I'm high enough mischief skill that I can steal some of these paintings in here because I have a feeling they'll be worth a lot of money. Let's see, what am I at? Six. Let's see, can I take any of these? Oh, I can. I can take the violin one. I can take this one. I can take this rooster one. Ooh, can I take these? These look like they'd be expensive. No. Ooh, I could take that. This is huge, you guys. Let's see what's upstairs. Maybe their more expensive works are on the second floor, you know? Oh, wow. This is big, big money. Ooh, I feel like these ones are expensive. Yeah, oh. If we get a successful swipe here, it will only take another two hours until we can swipe again. So I think we need to just run upstairs, steal something, or actually, maybe we should start downstairs because no one's here yet. Steal something, wait two hours, and steal something else. I feel like this is gonna be worth a lot of money. I don't know, it just looks, it looks expensive. So let's go steal that first. Okay, hurry, get in there, hurry, hurry. Go, go, go. <gasps> hurry, hurry, someone's coming. I got it. I got it. Oh my god, I got it. 
Oh, it's four hours until the next deal. Okay. Well, let's just go meet some people while we wait for this stealing to cool down. Who's this? Lavina. Well, let's flirt with her. Why not? Hey, girl. Schwabi first. <laughs> oh, she's liking it. Ask if single. So so. <laughs> oh. Floy Masharnu. Ah, yoyim. She's single. Vapin. Floy. She look rich? Yeah, she does look rich. I'm liking that. Oh, who's this? Ivy. Let's flirt with Ivy, too. Hey, Ivy. There's a celebrity here! Can I turn on the wrist with her, too? Oh. No, she's too famous. She wants us to be excited so badly. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. You guys, the paparazzi's here and she's taking pics. And I'm right in the middle of flirting with someone else after I recently got engaged. I don't want Ignacio to see this in the press. I'm gonna go inside. Oh, wait. <laughs> Lavina? <laughs> Lavina wants to know where the statue went. Lavina showed up to this museum for the statue and it's gone. I know it. That's what she's thinking right now. She's leaving. She's dead ass leaving. She's like, my favorite piece of art isn't here. I've got to go home now. Oh no, I'm getting a little bit hungry. And I need to use the bathroom and my hygiene's low. Okay, well, I can take advantage of this toilet here. Let's wash my hands, brush my teeth, wash my hands, brush my teeth, and then clog the drain. my morning routine <laughs> get ready with me museum heist edition oh, go 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 get out of there okay can i steal again yet oh 30 minutes 30 minutes is anyone upstairs oh man this guy's up here he's looking at this this looks expensive oh i can steal it wait this guy's kind of hot Oh my god. Dag, dag. Katrina's here. One of our ex flirts. Where are you going? Why won't you say hi to me? Hello? Please come back. He's gay and married. <laughs> the chat is telling me he's gay and married. Uh, dag, dag. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right. Is everyone gone? Can you guys, can you leave? Can I like shoo this person away? Mean. Rude introduction. Maybe if I'm really mean to her, she'll like leave the second floor. Leave, please, because I need to steal. Mean. Go away. <laughs> it worked, it worked. Okay. What do you guys think? What do you think is expensive? The cat one, it's ugly, but I feel like you guys are telling me to take this one because it's worth a lot. Okay, we got it, we got it. All right, let's go home because one, I'm starving, and two, I really want to see how much all this stuff is worth. All right, let's get some food first so I don't die. <gasps> Ignacio's calling me. Okay, I sure hope not. We're engaged. All right, you guys, it's the moment of truth. Let's see how much these pieces of, of art are worth. Sculpture? <gasps> 1,400. Painting? 1,455. Oh my God, we got $3,000. And I mean, we're gonna spend it all on the wedding, but this is huge. All right, let me eat this sandwich and then let's go see Ignacio and plan our wedding. I think we should plan our wedding for tomorrow. <laughs> can we get a cheap trash can though? No, we need to save all of the money until we plan the wedding and then we can get a trash can, okay? Guys, there's not that much trash.
Troy be behind us, or voice of power. Seriously, there's not that much. It's okay. Uh -huh. All right, let's go see Ignacio. Hi. Oh my God, you guys. Looks like Bernice had her baby. Look, how exciting. Where is Ignacio? Oh, here he is. Hey, Dada. Let's plan our wedding event. So I think screw the family gathering, screw the bachelor party, screw the rehearsal dinner, engagement dinner. Let's just get straight to the wedding ceremony. And let's invite the whole family. Oh, this is Sim of, Sim of Honor, I forgot. <laughs> I thought that was the guest list and it was, it was <laughs> empty. <laughs> Let's invite the whole family is what I was trying to say. All right, Bernice, come on, Ian, come on. We gotta have Kyle at the wedding. Kyle's gotta be at the wedding. Let's invite the Michelsons. Come on, Michelsons, you guys are for sure invited. Zochi, let's... Let's have you come. Let's invite Jay and Dolly. Let's invite the firefighters. And let's invite our new gay BFF, Brent. Sim of honor, officiant, flower pal, ring bearer. We have to ask people to do these things. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time for that because I'm gonna be scheduling this event for tomorrow. <laughs> but if we do, we do. For the wedding, let's make sure we get our spousal kiss. Let's exchange vows, cut cake, and let's walk down the aisle and have our first dance. Our outfits look good. I know typically brides wear white to their wedding, but I think this is appropriate given the circumstance. For the dress code, let's have everyone be polished and wear black. And for the location, let's go ahead and have it at the wedding venue. Oh shit, we're just going right into it. It's happening right now. Why am I holding a baby? No. Okay, pause, pause, pause. <laughs> this is all happening so fast. Why is everyone not dressed like appropriately? You guys were supposed to be wearing black for the wedding. Oh. All right, Um, this is all happening so fast. We don't have a cake. I could order one on a computer. All right, we can get a computer because it's free since we're in the middle of this wedding. Honestly, wait, I might get a laptop and steal it afterwards. <laughs> So let's put that there and let's put a chair down so I can use it. All right, really quick, I'm gonna go run and order a cake. Now, we don't have a ton of money, so I think we should uh, sort this by cost and get the cheapest one, which looks like it is cupcake wedding cake display. Sounds good to me. Can I put this baby down, please? Oh, oh wait, the baby's all dressed up for the wedding though. It's kind of cute. All right, let's get this wedding started. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's get to the dance floor. And let's do a wedding group dance to get this party started. Come on, y'all. So no music. Let me turn some music on. Come on, guys, let's dance. Let me see you move your body. Come on. Let me make this a little louder. Change volume, high. There we go. No beam. Let's do a cow po poke dance. Ah, Ina. <laughs> Come on, everyone, cow poke with me. <laughs> Come on now, everyone do the cow poke. <laughs> I'm getting the f down. Come on now. We had an amazing turnout. I just have to say that everyone's here. Seriously. All right, guys, let's let's start getting this wedding rolling. Let's start crossing off some of these things on our list. Let's have everyone, oh, attempt to swipe. <laughs> Holy <shit. laughs> Wait, yeah, before we get married, can I steal something? Can I take this laptop? Damn it, I can't take the laptop. Can I take this? I'm gonna go take this. <laughs> a 
Okay. Let's um let's get everyone over here. Ceremony activities. Please take your seats. Everyone take your seats for the wedding. Now why is everyone over here? All right, here we go. It's time to walk down the aisle. Ignacio, go, go. We're gonna go get married. Can they get over here? It's freaking me out that they're all sitting behind the fucking bush. Half of them can't even see it. Okay, there goes Ignacio. Is he good? All right, I'm going down now. Walk down aisle. Here I come. Everyone behind the bush is like, we've known you for two minutes. Here I come. All right. And now let's exchange vows and kiss. This is so exciting, you guys. <laughs> it's happening, you guys. Ah, it's happening. Uh, Thumbnail. Uh, oh. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Everyone clap for us. Clap for us. Now they're over here. Why'd they just come over now? Guys, it already happened. Oh, sh Get it, bitch. Get it. Oh, hell yeah. So are we married or? Or what? Are we married? Okay, I'm gonna do it again, because I don't know if it- <laughs> oh. I don't know if it worked. So... Wait, let me get a good thumbnail picture, you guys. Ooh, this is good. Let me back up a little bit. Yeah, this is good. Let me get in real close. Yes, this is good. Ooh, thumbnail. All right, well, let's go have our first dance. Um, I don't know why everyone's being so awkward right now. Like, what the f is going on? Everyone's just sitting and staring. Like, this is real NPC activity. Gather for the first dance, everyone. We're gonna go have our first dance. Have first dance with Ignacio. Stop, am I flirting with someone else? Stop, I just saw that I was flirting with Dolly for a second. I need to cancel that fast. Oh my God, I was flirting with Dolly because look, Jay is, <laughs> Jay is mad and jealous. I need to get it under control. I just got married. Thank God Ignacio was inside for that. Come on, get over there. He's waiting, girl. Okay, here we go. <gasps> it's happening. <laughs> Oh, this is so beautiful. Can you guys please pay attention and stop talking? We're having a moment. Please gather for the first dance. Oh my god, they fucking missed it. Come on, let's cowpoke now. Please, you all have to cowpoke to make up for it. Okay, get it, Christopher. Get it, Christopher! Guys, <laughs> start cow poking now. Wait, where's the baby? Oh. No way. No way. Can you guys start cow poking now? Why is Christopher the only one doing it? Honestly, he's future marriage uh, material. Because come on. Ugh, I'm so pissed off no one's dancing. I need to go steal something. Ooh, what about this statue? Oh, 
This looks expensive. All right, let's get in there. Come on, get in there, girl. Hurry, no one's here. Oh, sh the baby. The baby's in here. Can the baby please leave? Oh my god, the baby's gonna catch me. I can't, I can't steal the statue. Okay, wait, I have an idea. Oh, okay, wait, Christopher's here to take care of the baby. Hey, I was just coming to check on your baby. Nothing else. Nothing else. Um, but you might wanna, you might wanna take your baby. <laughs> you guys should go somewhere else. Why am I standing like this? It looks like I'm about to give him a lap dance. Okay, if you're not going to uh, take your baby out of here, I will. Okay, good. He's following her. Okay. There you go. Yep, have fun over there. Okay, let's go take this. Oh, stop. Why is he following me? Stop, 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 stop. Why is he following me? He must want me or something. Wait, let me flirt with him really quick. Sexy pose. Oh, uh, never mind. He left. Okay, go, 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 go. I got it. All right, I think it's just about time for us to cut the cake. No, don't take a piece. They're like vultures going after the cake right as I put it down, but I need to be the one to cut it. Here, I'm putting it back in my inventory. I think I need to feed them food first because they're all like ravenous. There's no other food at the party. So let's put some food out over here. Serve assortment. Oh, it's $250. But I just know Ignacio has a ton of money, so it's gonna be okay. Damn, they're eating this shit up. Everyone's dead ass starving to death. <laughs> I was like holding them hostage at the wedding. It's 2 a.m. and there is no food. Oh, it just ended? Who decided that the wedding was over? It was not over yet. We still had another 12 hours. I spent $75 on a cake for nothing. All right, well, either way, we just got married. Would you like to move in together now? Yes, this is the moment of truth. How much money are we getting from Ignacio? Y'all have five people living in your house in that big ass mansion, I should say, and you only have 20K? <laughs> I fucking robbed them. <laughs> Good luck with your new baby, you guys. <gasps> no. The stay over being hosted by the McAllister household will end. Kyle's leaving if we get married. Okay, wait, I'm gonna obviously accept this and then I'm gonna invite Kyle to stay over again. All right. All right, oh sh Ignacio's like dying at our wedding. He's having a terrible time, almost about to pass out, starving, almost shit himself, desperate for fun at our wedding. Desperate for fun. Oh my God, what's going on with him? Very angry, having a really bad time, aggravating conversation, desperate for fun, tired, feeling hurt. Oh my God, Ignacio is in terrible shape and I have a feeling He's gonna be even more angry when he sees my living conditions. I do wanna have Kyle come back over and stay for a few more days like he was supposed to. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. All right, Kyle's back. <laughs> um, so Ignacio, why are you standing like that? Um, welcome to our new house. I'm gonna go ahead and get some sleep because Oh. That was a pretty long wedding, and I'm feeling pretty tired, but you go ahead and take care of yourself. Huh? 
Ignacio really rethinking everything right now. He's like, did I really go from living in my huge mansion to this? And guys, he made this decision. Let's not forget, he, he proposed to me. Ignacio, don't worry. I have a little bit of food in the fridge. So you can go ahead and, and eat some of that. Hey, Kyle. All right, so we need a place for him to sleep. And honestly, we, we need a lot of things and we've got the money now. So I think it's time for a little shack renovation. First things first, let's go ahead and sell the items that I stole at the wedding venue. 115 for this chair and ooh, this is a thousand dollars. But you know what? We don't really need it since we've got 22K. And I think this could be a great addition to our house. It kind of would be like a little memento from our very first wedding. I wanna make a little disclaimer here before we start to add onto the shack. Um, my goal is not to make the most beautiful looking place. It's just not with this series. It's not gonna be a good build. It just is what it is. It's, it's more, it's all about the function, okay? Not about the beauty. Let's add a bedroom. I'm gonna keep it small at first because I don't wanna burn through all of our money. I'm gonna add a little bathroom back here. Let's expand our shack wallpaper around the whole place. Let's do the roof. Okay, it's like it's looking better already. Check this out. So I think it's only fair that we get a place for Ignacio to sleep. That being said, I'm gonna sell the sleeping bag and I'm gonna get us a double bed. I also think it will be good to have a double bed at the shack in case we want to have some intimate moments. But I'm gonna keep it cheap at first. I don't wanna blow through all of our money. So let's get this used, <laughs> used double futon. <laughs> Let's put this here, let's put this here because I think I'm gonna put the door to the bedroom like here and the door to the bathroom over here. Oh, we, I guess we need windows. This one we can move over here. What color bed should we have? Let's see, let's do a black bed. Cause we're a black widow baby. Let's keep the basic darks going throughout the house just to keep it simple. And then for the doors, let's just go ahead and do a cheap door that we can make black as well. I'm gonna rearrange some of the stuff in here. Like, let's move this art. Let's put it above the bed. Let's definitely get the toilet into the bathroom. Let's move this bear into the bedroom. Definitely need some more windows, you guys. Definitely need more windows. Let's put one in here. Oh my God, this place is so cute. <laughs> Let's put one in here, have one over here. Oh yeah, really let the light in. Speaking of light, I feel like we should definitely get lights. Let's do these typical little saucer lights in each room, keep it simple. Wow, it's looking a little terrifying. I think we should go ahead and build out the essentials, like the things that we really need. So first things first, we need a shower. Move the toilet over a little bit. Let's go ahead and put a sink. All right, let's get some tiles for the bathroom. How cute. Let's let's just steal this bathroom's theme. I'm liking it. It's very um, simple. Let's put a mirror in here. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Now let's focus on the kitchen. We really need to put in some work over here. I'm gonna move this lamp into the bedroom. Ooh, let's steal this room. I know you can't really see it, it's behind my camera. Let's add a little, add a little detail with this nice brick wall across the back here. This is fancy and trendy, the exposed brick. Perfect. Oh wait, we need a stove, so let's get rid of one of these. Should we be really like thrifty and get a used one? I think so. <laughs> Let's also add a little sink in the kitchen here. Oh, uh, see what happens when you let me cook? Look at this place. This is amazing. Let's do some work in the bedroom. Let's add those side tables. Guys, I'm never gonna get a trash can if you keep asking. I'm gonna let the whole place fill up with trash. I'm never gonna get one. Let's just do this one. I feel like this in black will, will go. Okay, it's not bad. Okay. 
This is sickening. Let's definitely add some curtains because you don't want to know what goes on inside this room. Ooh, this is, this is nice. This is classy. I like that a little sheer action. Let me get black. Oh, this is classy. Such a black widow vibe, am I right? Let's make the walls a little bit darker in here. Oh. <laughs> oh, what about, oh. is just so sexy. I'm moving this back out to the living room and I'll steal a different piece of art for this room. All right, let's change the floors, make them dark wood. Ooh, like this. Wait, I feel like we should do this for the whole inside of the house. Like make the whole place like Black Widow vibes. Yes. Okay, I'm doing a little, a, a little redesign here. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, I'm moving back to the bedroom. I'm crazy. You can't stop me. I'm just going wherever I want. Let's add like a nice like red sultry rug on the floor. What about this? <laughs> what about this? Come on, this is sexy. You go into someone's bedroom and you see this on the floor? Smash. Okay, wait, let's go to the bathroom now. It's gotta be darker in here. This is fine, just like a classic black tile. I'm liking that. Can we change the shower color? Okay, but let's see if we can get a darker one. I feel like this one's a little bit better. And not too expensive. Toilet, black. Sink, black. Mirror, black. Walls, let's change the color. What's this one, what's this? Ooh, the red tile, like an accent wall. And then maybe we could do like a, like a, ooh, wait, the tile comes in other colors, huh? It comes in this like dark color. Whoa. I feel like the shower wall better maybe because I don't like these two reds like next to each other. Okay. Sexy. Let's put a little, uh, a little bathroom mat. Well, maybe like a little pile of newspaper. So in case like maybe I can't make it to the toilet quick enough, I could just like, pee on the newspaper. Or we've got this little red mat. I'm kind of liking both. Okay, let's see if we could do like a black brick wall back here. Ooh, here we go. Yup. Wait, can everyone get out of here? It's cramping my vibe. I know we can change the color of this chair, but to keep it realistic, because we stole this from someone else, I feel like we shouldn't be allowed to change it. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, this, I forgot about this. The statue. Let's put that in my sex dungeon. Yes. That's amazing. <gasps> you know what? Let me cook for just one second. Don't forget to hang up your marriage certificate. You could collect them low. <laughs> You're so right. What if we made a basement with a ladder entrance and we'll put it right here? Okay, bear with me. It's so hard to like line this up. I'm gonna try my best. Let's make it black. Perfect. Perfect. This is looking really scary. Oh my God, why is this actually terrifying? This is scary. <laughs> I wish it was like a little more hidden. Yeah, should we like pull, pull it out? Here, what if we did this? What if we pull it out like one more? Use the bookshelf door. Ooh, that's a good idea. Here it is. <gasps> okay, let's use our, our bookshelf wall in black. We'll just pull this all the way out and put it here. <laughs> we want it to look a little natural. Why is there just one bookshelf here? You know what I mean? So let's try and make it look a little bit more natural. <laughs> it's my reading nook. <laughs> this is my reading nook here. I'm gonna make it all brick in here too. Ooh, this is scary. This is scary. Even I'm scared looking at this and I'm building it. That's my, this is my reading nook, my bookshelf. Yup. And let's go ahead and place some windows in the front now, which I really did want up here. 
just to bring some more natural light in. This is so good. Oh my God. I've been cooking crazily. Now, let me work on our um, dungeon. I mean, basement. Our basement. So they have jail cells. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Is this too far? Be honest. I need somewhere to put the Sims where they're going to die because basically we have to, um, you know, wait till their needs go to zero. So we need something like this, but I don't know. I mean, the visuals of this are a little crazy. Joe Goldberg vibes. <laughs> well, we do only need one like cell because we're only ever going to have one husband at a time. So I could get rid of this wall here. Cell is too big. You guys, you really think it's too big? I mean, there's going to be nothing in there. We could make it a little smaller if that's what you guys want. This is good because then this part of the basement we can actually use to collect urns and also hang marriage certificates. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my God, this is crazy. Um, okay, let's go up and get some countertops. Yeah, here we go. Maybe some shelves too. Okay, here we go. Should we like stagger them? Like do like a little cute design? That's kind of nice. Yes, okay. I think this is pretty good. Oh, I feel like something else could be added in here, actually. Maybe a little couch. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> That'll be for Kyle. Kyle's couch. Yeah. Oh, we could use a TV, actually. Should we, like, ball out? Should we ball out and put a TV on the wall? Yes. This is crazy. Okay. I think the house is completely done for now. Of course, we will always be... Um, doing some renovations here and there, but for now, I think this is pretty good. And we've got $11,000 left over. Let's go ahead and show everyone the new place. Hey guys, come on in, look at the renovations. What do you think? Oh, before I forget, let me go ahead and lock this. Right now, I'm gonna just lock it for everyone except me. So here we go, this is the new place. Oh, uh, okay. Here's the new bedroom, you guys. What do you think? Uh -huh. You like yeah. it, baby? He's very uncomfortable. Here is the new bathroom, everyone. You guys like it? And that's it. There's no other parts to this house, okay? There's no... There's no other parts. So let's go ahead and get some rest. In the bed. Ignacio, I know you're tired too. Get some sleep. Kyle just watching us sleep again. Also tearing up the place, like bringing all this trash into the bedroom already. Kyle, can you please just like at least go sit on your couch over here, Kyle? Oh, he left. Rise and shine, oh. Ignacio, because guess what? It's love day. Happy love day. <laughs> so Ignacio, it's time for your uh, big love day surprise. Oh my God. <laughs> Kyle's using the reading nook. <laughs> Ignacio, for love day, I have something I wanna show you. Come down here and check this out. Come on down. Before Kyle comes down, let me go ahead and lock this. Oh, Alupaz, Brisham. So you like it. Check out this part. Isn't this cool, Ignacio? Isn't this so cool? Okay, you stay there for one second. I'm gonna go on this side.
<laughs> bro, this is crazy. He hasn't even noticed that I locked him in here because he's so engulfed in his phone. Guys, this is seriously the dangers of phone addiction. Please remember to put down your phone and live in the moment. Otherwise, something like this might happen to you, for real. Let me go ahead and uh, hang this up, by the way. This is our marriage license. Let me make it a little smaller. There we go. He still has not noticed. Well, you guys, I don't know if he's ever gonna notice at this point, but this is where we're going to be ending today's episode. Maybe by the time we start next episode, he will have noticed that he's got locked inside this area. I don't know, maybe not. Wow, that was just crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye YouTube.